Good morning. I'm having a bit of a rushed morning because um, I'm headed out to do a hike this morning. Yes, I'm finally doing the dog training camp hike up to see like Lover's Beach and stuff. Um, I decided, fuck it, like, I don't know why I wouldn't go. I'm feeling a lot more energized today as well. I don't know if I'm gonna regret bringing my camera. I might. It's heavy. It's heavy, you guys. But this is the whole reason why I wanted to even bring this camera was so I could shoot these beautiful views. So I can't pussy out now, you know? A little nervous yes <laughs> most definitely but all good I will bring you guys along but via my phone because I'm not gonna bring an additional camera so yeah so in the beginning of May which is when I'm visiting um, it does still get kind of chilly in the mornings. It's about 18 degrees Celsius here. So, am I gonna regret wearing a t-shirt? I hope not. I've definitely made the same mistake before, but I've also made the mistake of bringing too much clothes and just feeling like I'm freaking dying on the mountain because I'm so hot from hiking and then also having to like carry an extra jacket, so. We're doing the t-shirt today, and yeah, let's just see. I just can't imagine it being freezing, especially if I'm gonna be hiking, my body temperature just gets hot so easily. And like even walking now, I'm feeling a bit warmer. We'll see. Okay, I kid you not, I'm like sweating already, so t-shirt. Good idea. I did it. I did the hike. Oh my god. Honestly, the hike itself wasn't that bad. It was more so just like the walk home that was painful because it's about a 30 minute walk from the apartment over to the doggy training camp and then a 30 minute walk back. So the walk there was fine, but the walk back felt treacherous to say the least. I have so much to say about um, I want to say his name is Eduardo uh, and this hike first of all he's amazing second of all it is like paradise because you're literally hiking with um, doggies and it's the best thing ever I did absolutely pull an angel and brought my fucking mirrorless camera all the way up the hill and realized that I didn't bring a memory card which is a very me thing to do. I'm constantly bringing my camera places and then forgetting my memory cards at home. <sighs> very sad, but um, that's okay. I ended up just taking photos with my phone, which is fine. Um, something really cool about this hike is he kind of goes into a little bit of the history of this place, Cabo San Luca, and also kind of talks about the history of this private land that we are hiking on and he has he's obviously a very like open-minded spiritual person because he talks about um the energies and how they meet here and how when you're on this hill you he really wants you to like learn to focus on the present and the moment like right now and actually being on the hill because we're in such a quiet place on like that side of the hill um he says that it's hard to keep a thought 
for longer than five seconds in your brain, um, which is kind of almost, it, it is true. And it is due to kind of like, I wanna say like the peaceful, relaxing energy that's in the place. Like you've got the ocean, the Pacific Ocean next to you. You're hiking up this beautiful like rocky mountain. You're around all these dogs and there really like was not, there really was not a single worry in my mind. And all I could focus on was like putting my feet in front of the other, feeling the wind on my skin, like making it to the top, getting to see the view, all of that. So yeah, it was quite a beautiful experience. Um, not just for the views, but also for like his, his company and the company of the dogs. So definitely an experience that I would say is a must do if you come to Cabo. Um, yeah, I'm very, very glad I pushed myself to do that. I had a lot of doubts yesterday and the day before whether I was actually going to do this or not because I had already postponed it. I was supposed to do it on Monday and I had just been feeling really tired, but I'm feeling very calm now and good. Like I feel, I'm tired, but I feel re-energized at the same time. And those are kind of the best experiences I think you can have when you're traveling or like experiences that yes, may wear your body out, but like just makes your soul feel energized, if that makes any sense. I'm really looking forward to exploring Todos Santos, I'm not gonna lie. I've been loving my time here, but I'm excited for something new and exploring a different area and exploring a different town. Kinda need that like peaceful energy right now. I am all checked out of Kasai. Hold up. I'm a little sad to be leaving, honestly. It has been amazing staying there, and I definitely plan on staying there again the next time that I come back to Cabo. But yeah, we're all checked out. I left my car there for now as I'm gonna be working from the coffee shop. I shot some content, last minute content, so you can find that on Instagram or on my TikTok. Definitely a little sad through leave but I'm excited for my next adventure and for now we are very excited to have some food because I'm fucking hungry. I mean also more coffee would be nice as well. for a long time um i do hope i get to come back to cabo at some point because it was really nice here although i do want to stay in san jose at some time at some point as well so we'll see i know there's so much more of mexico that i have yet to explore and i would love to do that um someday but yeah for now it's farewell all right, I'm headed back to my car now to make the drive down to Toros Santos. I'm so excited. I hear that the drive is absolutely beautiful, so I'm really looking forward to the journey and not just the destination. Saturday morning, jumped out of bed and put on my best suit all in my head to ask you a question. on the brink of tears because oh that's where San Cristobal is it's like really in the middle of between anyways I'm in literal awe of this beautiful place I'm literally getting so emotional it's hilarious 
Okay, the drive to Toto Santos, I'm not even like, I'm still 40 minutes away and it has been beautiful and you get to this point in the road where you're kind of on the top of the hill, there's a dip and then it goes up again but because you're at the top on this side, you just see straight across to the mountains but you just see water behind the mountains like as if it's a part of the sky and it's because of the angle that you're looking at because I guess the mountains are kind of technically in the foreground and the ocean is in the background and it's so vast because we're just looking at the Pacific that it literally looks like it just blends into the sky so it's like the most insane trippy visual because you see road mountain ocean and then sky like not road ocean mountain sky do you know what i mean sorry i am very giddy right now um i think just doing the hike this morning like getting kind of completing my stress cycle for one and listening to our guide talk and seeing the views from on top of that hike put me in such an incredible mood I'm getting so emotional but it, I've been so happy all day I've just been in the most incredible mood and I don't remember the last time I felt like this deep of a oh my god the views that way anyways I'm gonna focus on the road but I don't remember the last time I felt such a deep sense of like gratitude and pure joy and happiness and just like so carefree it's incredible hold up do you guys see this right now this? Do you see this view? I know that's not the best angle, but oh my god. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's literally the ocean. I'm really truly just in shock of the beauty of this place and just like how it's making me feel. I'm just feeling very, very grateful. I'm gonna legitimately cry. I'm in love with this place. I've been here a total of maybe 10 minutes driving through the town and then to my Airbnb. I've literally never, ever in my life seen a place so beautiful. I'm in love. I'm in love with this place. Like, wow. Let me show you. So, actually, let me start on the street because. The little street. I parked my car here. Look at that, all these beautiful properties. This is my landlord's, landlord, Airbnb host's property. First of all, gorge. Okay. And then you come into the space. Look at this architectural genius. Look at these tiles and this hammock that I'm gonna lay on every day. And then this is the bedroom. You guys. And the kitchen. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm headed out now. Finished my work day, so I'm gonna head out to have 
some dinner. I'm not sure where yet. We're gonna figure that out together. But I'm just gonna walk to town. Because it's still a really gorgeous day and I just don't wanna waste it. Look at this place! <sighs> this is where I'm staying. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a 30 minute walk to town, but honestly it's been a 30 minute walk to town for me and my other places. Oh, it's sandy though. But yeah, it's been a 30 minute walk to town for me in the other place in Cabo as well. So I'm just honestly okay with it. And also, you know, it's nice to get my walk in after a day of work. Everybody has like cool modded trucks here for adventures or off-roading, which is really neat, especially because we've been doing some of that um, in Vancouver. See, like that guy. All right, this is my view on my walk. I'll probably check back in when we head into town because I've got a little while to go. Oh, I do want to say, oh my god, this fucking property. Hold on. Am I just walking around taking a picture of people's properties? Yeah, I am. Okay, I just want to say, I think I mentioned in one of my like vlogs before this um, trip or in one of the other videos that I filmed while I was here that I kind of like learned my lesson in Bali because when I went to Bali, I stayed in two places. I stayed in Ubud and I stayed in uh, Uluwatu. Wasn't it Uluwatu? No, Semenyak. I stayed in Semenyak and I stayed in Ubud. So my biggest takeaway as far as what I enjoy during solo trips is that I really like truly enjoyed Ubud way more than I did Semenyak and Semenyak is more of like I want to say it's more of like a touristy place where there are a lot of like Americanized um, shops and restaurants which was great the food scene was amazing um, it was also quite beautiful there's a lot of boutiques there's a lot of really great aspects to Semenyak Ubud in comparison was I feel like a lot more nature focused, like it was my Airbnb that I stayed at, this villa was situated right on this like rice field, this rice paddy field. It was just, yeah, it was just way more peaceful, way less people. Um, the activities that surround the area are way more like nature related, like nature walks and stuff like that. So yeah, Ubud surrounded by nature just so peaceful very like much more quiet and so that's kind of how I based how I structured this trip because even though I've never been here through my research I found that Todos Santos is way more of that small town Ubud vibe and then Cabo is obviously Cabo and everybody goes there to party and vacation and all of that so yeah I was a little uncertain because obviously Mexico is not Indonesia and I didn't know exactly what it would turn out to be like but I think I did a pretty good job because I'm already feeling way more in love with Toto Santos and I haven't even really explored the town yet so yeah that's my takeaway. Alright I gotta stop vlogging before somebody calls me out for it and I'm definitely getting a little out of breath, but also just embarrassed, so I can see you guys later. This place is way more beautiful than it is in photos. Like, in photos, this place is already magnificent, but I'm just in awe. I'm in awe of Todos Santos so far. They call it the magic town. I'm feeling the magic, you guys. So this is the building behind me. I'm actually sitting in the courtyard in the back, which I didn't know existed. But like, that's my view. There's the sunset. And then 
Um, this is inside of this building. There's Osteria, which is the restaurant that I'm eating at. But I'm just seated outside. There's this bar. There's some indoor seating. There's a coffee shop or like a cafe um, with some indoor seating. And then there's little shops, kind of like lined all along the sides of the building. So there's like an art gallery. There's like a boutique shop. There's a souvenir shop. Um, the crystals, an art shop. Look at this backdrop. It's a little bit chilly, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't even think because I just wanna enjoy this. 